Hey, I'm Grump. I'm not so Grump. And we're the Game Grumps. Hey. Hello. Welcome back to Game Grumps. Okay, we just took like a five minute break to collect our thoughts. Mm -hmm. I, I bet if you play that last episode back, like, I didn't say shit for like the last seven minutes. Oh, yeah. I was just like stunned. Yeah. That's exactly the case. Oh, my God. Anyway, Monica's trying to get us into the literature club. Yeah, um, okay, sure. She just created it with her three friends. So. Oh my god, I just feel um, like I found out the Matrix is real. Yeah, well, who knows. Cool. Shall we go then? I'll look for the materials another time. You're more important. <laughs> my brains are more important, am I right? <laughs> <laughs> and thus, today marks the day I sold my soul to Monica and her irresistible smile. I timidly follow Monica across the school and upstairs, a section of the school I rarely visit, being generally used for third-year classes and activities. Monica, full of energy, swings open the classroom door. I'm back. <laughs> and I brought a guest with me. Uh, uh, girl one? Uh, a guest? Well, we don't know her name. Oh, God. Seriously, but a boy? Way to kill the atmosphere! Don't be mean, Natsuki. But anyway, welcome to the club friend, Aaron. Uh... Fred. All words escape me in this situation. This club is full of incredibly cute girls! Oh my god. So let me guess, you're Monica's boyfriend, right? Uh, no, I'm not. Natsuki. The girl with the sour attitude whose name is apparently Natsuki is one I don't recognize. Her small figure makes me think she's probably a first year. Oh my god, this is so fucking creepy. Anyway, this is Natsuki, energetic as usual. And this is Yuri, the vice president. It's nice to meet you. God, my fucking compliments to whoever created this game. <laughs> that, like, you are a creative motherfucker. Yuri, who appears ca 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 comparably. Yuri, who appears comparably more mature and timid, seems to have a hard time keeping up with someone like Natsuki. Yeah, it's nice to meet both of you. So I ran into friend Aaron in the classroom, and he decided to come check out the club. Isn't that great? Wait, Monica, didn't I tell you to let me know in advance for you, brand anyone new? I was gonna, well, you know. S sorry, sorry. I didn't forget that, but I just happened to run into him. In that case, I should at least make some tea, right? Yeah, that would be great. Why don't you come sit down, friend Aaron? Oh my god. The girls have a few desks arranged to form a table, as you can clearly see. Yuri walks to the corner of the room and opens the closet. Whoa. Meanwhile, Monica and Natsuki sit across from each other. I'm like so fucking tense all of a sudden. <laughs> Still feeling awkward, I take a seat next to Monica. What, the- the loopy reggae isn't like- No, the, nothing is calming my nerves The chirpy now. Kickstarter music isn't helping you calm down? Oh my god. So, I know you didn't really plan on coming here, but we'll make sure you feel right at home, okay? A president of the Literature Club, it's my duty to make the club fun and exciting for everyone. I'm surprised there aren't more people in the club yet. <laughs> must be hard to start a new club. It must be 7.30 at night, huh? <laughs> you must- <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> you could put it that way. Not many people are very interested in pulling out, putting out uh, all yeah, the effort that's to start true something too. brand new. <laughs> <laughs> Especially, I know for a fact. <laughs> Especially when it's something that doesn't grab your attention, like literature. You have to work hard to convince people that you're both fun and worthwhile. But it makes school events, like the festival, that much more important. I'm confident that we can all really grow this club before we graduate. Right, Natsuki? Well, I guess... Natsu... Natsuki reluctantly agrees. Such different girls, all interested in the same goal. Monica must have worked really hard just to find these two. <laughs> Yuri returns to the table carrying a tea set. She carefully places a teacup in front of each of us before setting down the teapot in the middle. See, isn't this pleasant? This is nice. I'm, like, totally unnerved. You, you keep a whole tea set in this classroom? Don't worry, the teachers gave us permission. After all, doesn't a hot cup of tea help you enjoy a good book? I guess. <laughs> Don't let yourself get intimidated. Yuri's just trying to impress you. Uh, th that's not... Insulted, Yuri looks away. I meant that, you know, I believe you. I believe you. Oh, shit. Well, tea and reading might not be a pastime for me, but I at least enjoy tea. I'm glad. Yuri faintly smiles to herself in relief. I think she likes me. So, friend Aaron, what kind of things do you like to read? Well, uh... Considering how little I've read in the past few years, I don't really have a good way of answering that. Manga. I mutter quietly to myself, half-joking. Natsuki's head suddenly perks up. It looks like she wants to say something, but she keeps quiet. Not much of a reader, I guess. 
Well, that can change. What am I saying? I spoke without thinking after seeing Yuri's sad smile. Anyway, what about you, Yuri? Well, let's see. Oh, oh Yuri traces the rim of her teacup with her finger, just like last time. My, fa my favorites are usually novels that build deep and complex fantasy worlds. The level of creativity and craftsmanship behind them is amazing to me. And telling a good story in such a foreign world is equally impressive. Yuri goes on, clearly passionate about her reading. She seems so reserved and timid since the moment I walked in, but it's obvious by the way her eyes light up that she finds her comfort in the world of books, not people. But you know, I like a lot of things. Stories with a deep psychological element usually immerse me as well. Isn't it amazing how a writer can so deliberately take advantage of your own lack of imagination to completely throw you for a loop? <laughs> oh, damn. <laughs> you self-congratulatory bastard. <laughs> anyway, I've been reading a lot of horror lately. Uh, I read a horror book once. I desperately grasped something I could relate to at the minimum level. It's funny how I say horror and you say horror. Yeah. I just noticed that again. At this rate, Yuri might as well be having a conversation with a rock. <laughs> ha 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 ha. I'd expect that from you, Yuri. It suits you or personality. Oh, is that so? Really, if a story makes me think or takes me to another world, then I really can't put it down. Surreal horror is often very successful at changing the way you look at the world, if only for a brief moment. Ugh, I hate horror. Me too, Natsuki. Oh, why is that? <laughs> well, I just... Natsuki's dies, eyes dart over to me for a split second. Never mind. Oh my gosh. That's right. You usually like to write down about cute things, don't you, Natsuki? What? What gives you that idea? You left a piece of scrap paper behind the last club meeting. It looked like you were working on a poem called... Don't say it out loud and give that back! Fine, fine. Natsuki, you wrote your, you write your own poems? Uh, well, I guess sometimes. <laughs> Why do you care? <laughs> I think that's impressive. Why don't you share them sometime? N no! Natsuki averts her eyes. You wouldn't like them. <laughs> ah, n not a very confident writer yet. I understand how Natsuki feels. Sharing that level of writing takes more than just confidence. The truest form of writing is writing to oneself. You must be willing to open up to your readers, exposing your vulnerabilities and showing even the deepest reaches of your heart. Do you d do you have writing experience too, Yuri? Maybe if you share some of your work, you can set an example and help Natsuki feel comfortable enough to share hers. Fred. I guess it's the same for Yuri. We all sit in silence for a moment. Hey, I got an idea. How about this? <laughs> Fred question mark? <laughs> Natsuki and Yuri look quizzically at Monica. Let's all go home and write a poem of our own. Then next time we meet, we'll all share them with each other. That way, everyone is even. Um... Fred. Uh... I mean, I thought it was a good idea. Well... I think you're right, Monica. We should probably start finding activities for us all to participate in together. I did decide to take on the responsibility of Vice President, after all. <laughs> it's only three people. <laughs> I need to do my best to nurture the club as well as its members. Besides, now that we have a new member, it seems like a good step for us to take. Do you agree as well, friend Aaron? Hold on, there's still one problem. Hey, what's that? Now that we've reached the most important topic, I bluntly come forth with what's been on my mind the entire time. I never said I would join this club! Monica may have convinced me to stop by, but I never made any decision. I still have other clubs to look at and, um, I lose my train of thought. All three girls stare back at me with dejected eyes. But, but. I'm sorry, I thought. Hemph! <laughs> eh? The girls exchange glances before Monica turns back to me. I guess I need to tell you the truth, friend Aaron. The thing is, we don't have enough members yet to form an official club. We need four, and I've been trying really, really hard to find new members. And if we don't find one more before the festival. Eh? Uh, Fred, I'm defenseless against these girls. How am I supposed to make a clear-headed decision when it's like this? I would feel terrible for letting everyone down in this situation. And besides, the club itself seems pretty relaxed. So if writing poems is the price I need to pay in order to spend every day with these beautiful girls... Right. Okay, I've decided then. I'll join the literature club! Yeah. One by one, the girls' eyes light up. Oh my goodness, really? Do you really mean that, friend Aaron? Yeah, it, it could be fun, right? You really did scare me for a moment. <laughs> for a moment? Yeah, right? <laughs> I mean, if you really just left after all this, I'd be super pissed. After all this? It's been friend, eight minutes. Friend Aaron, I'm so happy. We can become an official club now. Thank you so much for this. You're really amazing. I'll do everything I can to give you a great time, okay? Uh, thanks, I guess. Okay, everyone. 
I think with that, we can officially end today's meeting on a good note. Everyone remember tonight's assignment. Ugh. Write a poem to bring to the next meeting so we can all share. Monica looks over at me once more. I was telling our coworker outside in the office between grumps, I was planning to play this on my own and go out with Monica and, and jerk off to this game, and now I'm, now I'm not gonna. <laughs> I am absolutely not gonna I, jerk You off. have lost a J.O. customer. <laughs> Friend Aaron, I look forward to seeing how you express yourself. E he 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 he. Yeah. Can I really impress the class star Monica with my mediocre writing skills? I already feel the anxiety welling up inside me. Meanwhile, the girls continue to chit chat as Yuri cleans up the tea set. I guess I'll be on my way then. Okay. I'll see you tomorrow then. I can't wait. Oh my god. With that, I depart the club room and make my way home. My the whole way, my mind wanders back and forth between the three girls. Natsuki, Yuri, and of course Monica. Will I really be happy spending every day after school in a literature club? Perhaps I'll have the chance to grow closer to one of these girls. Oh my god. Alright, I'll just need to make the most of my circumstances, and I'm sure good fortune will find me. Oh god. And I guess that starts with writing a poem tonight. <sighs> oh. I have unlocked a special poem. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. No, not this! Not, not like this! <laughs> well, um, I think that's you, so... Uh, I'm not doing the voice. <laughs> Today I cut my skin open for the first time. It was exhilarating. I think I understand how blank feels now. I'm supposed to be the responsible one, though, so I don't think I'll be doing it again, unless I decide to kill myself. I left a memento of the occasion below. Oh, I cannot believe this is a horror game. I cannot. Well... Fucking believe it. Well, next time on Game Grumps, we're gonna help write a poem. And no, I don't want to play this anymore. <laughs> it, I'm so upset. Mm, you gotta play it. Oh my god. You... Let us know in the comments if you want us to keep playing this, because mm. I think I need a mental break. Yeah. Oh my god. Oh my god. God damn it. What's wrong? <laughs> Shut up, you fucking know what's wrong. <laughs> did, I, had, how much did you know of this? Uh, bits and pieces. Had you played this before? No. Uh, you, so you haven't actually seen any of this? Uh, mm, I've seen some visuals and I knew like the beats. Oh man. Yeah. So that, oh. that's why I was like, it's gonna fucking happen. Like they're like leading up I to it. I was looking forward to it so much. I thought it was gonna be like something fun and sexy at the festival. Like, and it's like a fun surprise, hey! But no, the girl I liked killed herself, and now I'm in a weird fucking mental time loop where crazy awful shit could happen at any second. Yeah, it's cool. Yeah, I love it. Let's go with chocolate. <laughs> and candy. Yeah. And peaceful. That's a good poem. Oh, god damn you. Alright, next time on Game Rose. Oh, this- fuck this music! <laughs> Misleading ass piece of shit.